Yo, what's going on guys, it's Shaco TG, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the new reworked Skyscraper, which is going to be put in the map pool instead of Outback. So as you guys can see, that was a helipad spawn, not much has changed. You got that balcony that used to be there, which is now no longer a balcony, just a repel spot. Not much has changed on the outside of the map here, as you guys can see, just some subtle changes. No longer got that run out spot and things such as that to spawn kill on the helipad. We're going to head over to that tower spawn now, but if you guys did like this video, be sure to drop a sub and like the video. I really would appreciate it. Anyways, though, we got this tower spawn here. As you guys can see, you can no longer get up in that tower. I personally think this is a pretty cool change. I didn't like when people sat in the tower for the whole round sniping, so personally, I actually really like this. We're going to head over down to that ventilation spawn here in a second, though. Just want to quickly show you guys the outside of the building here. So as you guys can see, not much has actually changed there. Uh, something to note though, I will have timestamps in the description and also the pinned comment. So if you guys would like to, you know, skip around the video, see inside the building, certain parts of the map or whatever, be sure to check that out. But anyways, we got this ventilation spawn, so not much has actually changed. As you guys can see, it looks about the same as it usually does. We're going to head over to the other side of the map here though. Just showing you guys the outside here. We got some really cool resp uh, repel spots now. Most of this map is able to be repelled on now, which, you know, as, as you guys probably knew before, you weren't able to repel on too, too much, but now they've added a lot more repel spots. So there's a window right there. We're going to go over that window here later, but that is actually into the uh, disco room or whatever you guys want to call it. Going to repel down here and head over to where the T balcony used to be. So this is where the, the T door and T uh, window used to be. Now they've kind of cut off the balcony. It's not as big as it used to be. Um, so we're gonna go over that here in a second As you guys can see the front door there is now closed up and Now you can repel up to this little section here. So that's that balcony. I was talking about There's your T door You can see that the window is now gone and that this uh, whole balcony looks a little bit, a bit different now You can no longer spawn peak. You've also got this new repel spot here that goes up to the roof So this is the first time on skyscraper where we've really had like true roof access uh, before you really weren't able to get up here at all So this is actually really cool. I, I love that you, that you can get up here. I think it looks awesome um, gonna be nice to be able to get from one side of the map to the other side of the map, you know, really quickly. Before it took you forever, you had to go all the way around. Now just repel up to the center part here and, you know, sprint the cost. I think that's cool. Back on this T balcony though, we're gonna head into the T door. Now you got top black stairs, you got T right in there. There's the stairs I was just talking about. So as you guys can see, they switch up the door and the staircase position just a little bit. There's your gold spot or like a safe spot. You got a softball there now, so it's not quite as safe as it was before. Heading back into disco or what is it, karaoke, whatever you want to call it. They've actually increased the size of the room uh, quite a bit. Here's that window I was talking about earlier that we repelled on. Uh, as you guys can see, it's only repel, no longer a balcony. Heading over towards the wave stairs and geisha though. Geisha has been opened up a bit too. You've got some more stuff in the center. The hatch has been moved as you guys can tell as well. There's also now two walls here as you guys can see. One leads outside and one leads into drum. Speaking of drum, we're going to head over there right now. So as you can see, drum is now very open. You've got these two little like balcony looking things that you can jump on. I'll show you guys that in a second. Here's your dragon or like terrace area. So back over to these spots over here. You can actually jump up here and look down. Um, it's pretty cool. I, I like this. I don't think there's anything bad about this. I think it looks pretty cool. And here's a little cheeky hiding spot in the drum. You actually can't shoot the, the drum either. So uh, if you guys watched my video from yesterday, you, you guys see that I actually killed somebody in here. Uh, kind of caught me off guard, but I still got him. Uh, yeah, you can't shoot through that. I think it's kind of a cool spot. And then here's this wall here that I was talking about earlier. It leads straight into the geisha room. So there you go. You can go straight into geisha from there. I actually really like that wall. Anyways, moving on to terrace or whatever. Uh, this is, you know, the old terrace. It doesn't kind of look the same at all there's far less plants and stuff but you know nevertheless it is terrace there's this wall going straight into dragon now remember that used to be a double door and now it's just a wall and the windows are gone as well here's your vip room the staircase has been changed up a little bit as you guys can see i actually really like that change going over here now i think this all looks great personally i i love the way this is it's, it's not so cramped with the windows you, you can actually move around you don't feel like you're going to die to a a window all of a sudden you can see that the window in this room is actually completely gone which i love you can actually move around a little bit easier the bar here has changed up a bit but you still do have this single wall where you can run out and kill people on that balcony so you do have to be careful of that of course but you do have that one second run out timer they did change it they nerfed it from two seconds to one second so it's going to be a little bit harder for you to run out but that run out is still a thing 
So you have to be wary of that. Here's your front door area though. So as you guys can see, the stairs lead down. It looks a little bit different. Here's your like your mud room or whatever you want to call this. It, it's called side entrance, but you know you can call it mud, whatever you want to call it. This goes straight into the bedroom here. I think bedroom looks great now. Uh, it actually might be a little bit more viable. The hatch has been moved, which is awesome. Now, as you guys can see, the walk-in closet and the bathroom is all bigger now, which is great. I love to see that. Here's your main lobby area again. That front door closed up. Your front desk area. Now, here's your delivery area. You still got this double door that leads out to ventilation. So, there you go. There's your ventilation spawn. You could repel up or whatever. Go straight into this doorway. Now, we're going to head over to supply. Now, you guys can see straight into bar. Looks pretty familiar, I'd say. So that's supply. You can go straight into kitchen from here. Got that geisha hatch. As you guys can see, it's moved now. That single wall outside is gone, as you guys can see. So it's no longer there. The window and barbecue is also gone. I love to see that. This site would probably be much more defendable now. And restaurants, much more open now. You got this window outside leading to the front door. You got that window there, which leads towards, you know, whatever you want to call that. But yeah, um, I don't know. I really like restaurant. I think it's much more open. Feels easier to play around in. You still got the bathroom here, but it's much, much bigger. You've still got the window though. So going back up to the black stairs, that's pretty much the entire interior of the map. So you guys have to let me know. What do you guys think about this map? I actually really like it so far. Um, I, I think it's going to be pretty cool. I'm happy that it's replacing Outback at the very least. You know, anything is going to be an improvement over Outback. But, you know, let me know what you guys think. Hopefully you guys get some games on the TTS and you guys enjoy it. But I'm really hoping that the community likes this much more than Outback. I think we're all going to. Gives me old skyscraper vibes for the most part. But hey, I'll take that over Outback 100% of the time. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be releasing merch at 100k subs. So before this video ends, if you guys are not subscribed, please do subscribe. It really does help me out. And I'll be giving back to you guys by giving you guys some merch at 100k subs. So I would really do appreciate that. Also, comment down below what you guys think of the map. And anyways, that's going to be all for the video. So thanks, guys, for watching, and have a great day. You're getting my hatch. Oh, uh, the door. I don't know what to call that. By front door. Friendly, last operator standing. Unlucky. Is this Autumn? AFK? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> oh, no. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> All friendlies were eliminated. <laughs> oh, my God. Nice. That was perfect. Yo, that I was like the back. Among Us. That was like the Among Us blood splatter. Did you see that?